when I was upstairs seeing the exact spot where Srila Prabhupada came and I reflected he was also a young man just 26 years old like many of us who came by his call to the Prabhupada's call and just like we were struck by Srila Prabhupada, our Srila Prabhupada. He was struck. He was injected. He was injected with the, the, the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Today, we can reflect on how seriously he took that mission. He commented once, Srila Prabhupada commented how in reading Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur's commentary on Bhagavad Gita, Ekeha Kuru Nandana, how he explained that this one-pointed determination means to accept the order of your spiritual master as your life and soul. And this is exactly the life of Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. He took the order of Srila Bhaktivedanta. That one order, that single order that he received on the very first meeting, that became his entire life. That became his entire life. And it is by that uh, determination I am now in this year, my past year, I have uh, turned the age that Srila Prabhupada was when he left for America. And I often then start to think, you know, what it would feel like. But then I, I try to imagine any challenge that I could even think about that would compare to the challenge that Srila Prabhupada accepted in leaving Vrindavan with nothing. Just his books. Going on a steamship, not a 747 or anything like that, but going on a freighter. Leaving, I mean, I, by the grace of Srila Prabhupada, have traveled many places now. He never left. And going to such a land as New York City, and then to go to such a place as the Lower East Side of New York City. All of this required such great determination. Determination that under all circumstances, without any, even, he would comment that, what was the hope? But still the order drove him. So if we can reflect on the power of taking the order of the spiritual master. Taking the order, not just the order of the spiritual master, but the order of the entire Sampradaya, the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who ordered Nityananda, go, gore, gore, go from house to house and proclaim Bhajo Krishna, Baha Krishna, Baha Krishna now. So we are simply following in those footsteps. And it is such a great, great pleasure to be here to see again. I, I, I mean, I'm just looking here. If you you just look at this place. There's, there's only a few pictures, and you'll see them. I think you'll be having some show. This is it. This is the place. It has been restored, and I, 
my prayer and my, my conviction is that the work of the devotees here in Calcutta to restore this Bhaktivinoda Asam will have effect in the entire world of the Gaudiya Vaishnava mission. And something like Srila Prabhupada said how in the birthplace of Mahaprabhu, sometimes there's a flood, which is an indication that from that place there will be a flood of love of God. So I feel that by this effort to restore this most important place in our mission, that it, we will find new and increased energy to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world, taking the order of Srila Prabhupada as our life and soul. Hare Krishna.